Number one news. Do you remember I, was, I mentioned how I like the um, Balenciaga all winter collection if, or spring summer collection? The one that recently debuted, the one that will look like similar to the one parading around the EU um, building or something. It was all in blue. Had that massive kind of bell dress everyone was wearing, and they had these amazing shoes there. That I didn't know what they looked like. They looked like biker boots. Now we've got a full image of the shoes, and they look a lot better than I actually thought they would look. I would assume there would have been a bit more of a boot thing, but they've kind of strayed away from that and made it into a trainer. So it's taken inspiration, I guess, from the motocross world, but they've kind of co opted it into like a sleek little runner. It's called the Balenciaga Square Toe Tyrex Sneaker. Sci-Fi Designs article here from um, Hyatt Snobiety says the model is called the Tyrex. The key features include the Tyrex sneaker looks something out of sci-fi film and it's constructed of many overlapping rubber panels that create an almost atomic, anatomical design. The name of the, ty of the sneaker Tyrex is printed on square toe and one of the defining features of the crazy design. It's going to be released in 2020 in January. Uh, you can buy it online. The editors know introduced originally on the 2020 summer runway show. The square boot shoe is now have a release date. According to Spanish Fashion House, uh, the Tyrex will be released worldwide starting in January and the wild design latest and long line of shoes. So yeah, let's see, check it out. I love the look of it. Again, um, as the article mentioned, loads of overlapping panels and just looks very interesting, very dissimilar. The thing, I, this is what I want to see more in fashion, this fashion houses when they're making sneakers. I want to see something that doesn't look like any other sneaker brand. It's annoying when these sneaker brands just go out, go to the Nike archives, Adidas, Reebok, a6 Puma, whatever they may be, and just dig into their archives and basically make their version of an, or of an already established boot or established shoe. I want the fashion industry to take as much time as they do in clothing or as much inspiration, as much varying levels of sources and apply that into footwear to make it more interesting. Because nowadays the shoes from sneaker brands, especially stuff like you might see in Saint Laurent, wherever, just like, you know, they just co opting Jordan brand shoes and whacking their own logo and hiking the price up, which isn't fun, it's not interesting. Stuff like this is more interesting. Even if you don't like it, it just looks different than what it's out on the market at the moment. Um, so it comes in this neon green, neon yellow sort of colorway, an all black, triple black colorway with like an S with like a little gray S at the back. And then you've got this sort of like faded uh, combination of like silver and black. That's again, taking inspiration from, I guess, the motocross world. So they probably took an idea from a jacket somewhere and basically implemented that into like a boot, into a shoe probably is quite good for a motorcycle jacket I imagine it's probably quite padded on the toe and yeah it looks interesting man. I quite like it it's got a little bit of a hair on it um give you a little bit of a height if you're that way inclined in general just a very interesting shoe overall I like it man and just see what it's going to be priced at um I'm assuming something in the high 500s we haven't had the Balenciaga sneaker yet that's been under five in it they've all been around that kind of price range so probably shouldn't expect any different from this shoe but definitely keep an eye on that if you're that way inclined I'm a big fan of the shoe I like what they're doing there